Alright, the most asked question I ever get is, how do you get more frames in Arsenal? They're always asking me, Crystal Grim, how do you have so many frames? Crystal Grim, how do I get more frames? Crystal Grim, I'm running on a KFC deep fryer. I need the frames. Crystal Grim, help me now. I'm gonna put my stuff into tests, and I'm gonna show you how you can get the frames. How? So as you see right here, I have 90 frames. That is not good. 90, you should not be playing 90. I have like 90 to 100 frames average. And this is when there's no shooting, like nothing's even going on. This server's dead. Barely anybody shooting. I have 90 to 100 average frame rate. I'm gonna show you how you can get good frames. So just before this starts, the frame rate I get may not be the stuff you get. My computer parts are really strong, so they can give me like 400 frames when I put all the settings in the right spot. But your computer, it might be a lot less weaker, it may be not powerful at all. But just because I'm getting 400 frames, that doesn't mean you might get it. So starting this off, I have everything enabled. It's default arsenal, default roblox, everything enabled. I'm gonna show you how you can plow through this and get perfect performance. So first thing is, get rid of shadows, get rid of viewport character, get rid of particle physics, get rid of 23 for all. This destroys your frames so hard. Let's just go into Arsenal, press shift and 5, and look at that. Already I have 200 FPS from before, the game feels a lot smoother too by the way, 200 FPS. Before I had 80 to 100, maybe I got in the 120s, but now I'm just in the 190s to 220 range. And, oh, it's just so good already. So good already. If you have a somewhat powerful computer, you could try keeping shadows on and get rid of these two. Because these two really destroy your frames a lot. Here's what the game is right now. It feels somewhat smooth. I have less frames. I have 150 with the shadows on. The game still feels the same. I just have less frames though. I can't get in the 200s anymore. And I'm just stuck at 150 for an average with those two particle expensive things turned off. See it like this. What do I get with shadows off and these expensive particles? Particle things on. Okay, this is a lot worse. You guys really want to turn off this stuff because I have 120 frames. So yeah, no, 120 frames, bad. We do not want that. The best option is is just to turn all of this stuff off right here. If if you have a pretty bad PC, you could try turning off these ones too. Who knows? It may help a little bit. But the real thing that helps you a lot is going into settings and just changing your graphics from max or whatever it is all the way down to one. This gives you the best performance possible. So we're in the game. It feels extremely smooth, and I have 300 to 400 frames. Like what? My lowest frame is 290. My highest is 400. You got what do you mean? Look at that, that's with everything turned off and everything. Look at the menu right here, I'm popping up to 500 frames, that is what I am talking about. Alright, let's see how Arsenal is, we have all this, low settings, and then we have everything off. I'm gonna keep shadows on just cause my PC is strong and I can handle it. If you have a weaker computer or a laptop, go ahead turn it off, you really need it, it will help you a lot. I'm just gonna hop into this bad boy with my clean 244 frame rate. This once again, you guys, not everybody will get 240 frames, I have a really strong gaming computer with really good parts in it. So I'm obviously going to get 240 frames on really low settings for everything. But if you do have a pretty bad laptop or a pretty bad computer that doesn't run games well, turning off these settings, they do make a difference because as you saw from my computer alone, it could not handle it at all. It ran it like trash. So that's how you turn like a toaster into a deep fryer into a full on epic war tank. I am literally running a war tank right now just from turning off this stuff. That last game right there can show you frames don't win games. I have 240 frames and I still lost that game. I'm telling you, bro. <gasps> but now we're just in silky smooth landia and we're wiping away everybody. When I say I'm telling you, oh mama, I am telling you. If you're wondering what those things that we did turn off were, basically the shadows, it's obvious. It's the shadows. It's all the dark parts on the map that just honestly lags and destroys your frame rate so it's common sense like everybody turns off shadows in every game too just because shadows are so laggy like it's common sense for other games that's not even part of roblox to turn off shadows like in fortnite holy the shadows lag that game so insanely badly the shadows are in fortnite are ridiculously laggy the particles that we disabled those you know it's just particles from your gun it's particles from the kill effect it's particles from the guns it's smoke and it's just a ton of other stuff unnecessary things that you're probably not going to notice 
that you should just disable because it will give you a lot more frames and save you from a lot of lag. The viewport character is this thing right here. It's a little character view that shows you right above your health and honestly it does lag your computer a lot. It lags my computer a lot. It is a unnecessary thing that's in the game. I honestly don't even know why it is in the game. It literally serves no purpose to be in the game at all. It's just some worthless lag thing in the game. Yeah, go ahead, disable that. That is bad. This, bad. Keep it disabled. That's basically all the things we disabled. And then, you know, your graphics, that's self-explanatory too. It makes the game a lot more smoother, makes the game a lot less detailed, makes a lot less things to load up, and it helps your PC a lot in the end. Legend says voting competitive gives you more frames too. Ha ha ha. Because we all know this knife is garbage. Here we go. Win the game. Backstab a zero IQ, because zero twos are pretty Bad. So I'm actually setting an FPS cap to 180 instead of 240. A lot of people ask me why I do this, and this is for two reasons. If we go into the NVIDIA control panel, you can see my monitor's refresh rate is 165, meaning even if I put my game to 240, the most amount of frames my monitor could possibly show me is 165. I choose 180 over 240 because even if there is lag, it will be enough to keep my frame rate always at 165 and this FPS unlocker is really bad so it doesn't even cap it at 80, it goes in the 200s all the time. So even if I do get lag, I'll still have 165 frames which I need to see, which will be good for me. Also when I do it like this, my computer won't have a heart attack trying to render a ton of more frames than my monitor could possibly show me. So yeah, this works easy peasy like that. I have the aimbot, I'm telling you. These people are 18. I don't even know if I could steal the win because everybody's camping. I can't even find them. Oh, hey, Zaraq, you. Hey, lady, time to die. Whoa, I didn't do any damage to her. That is crazy. How are these people getting so many kills? There's literally nobody around in these parts. Here we go, turn it up, let's start. Come on, guys, stop camping, camping. Look at them, look at them camp. Enemy spotted. Oh, we have more enemies. Oh, they're getting headshot. This will be my win. I am telling you. Wait, what are you doing, Kevin Lady? No, this is all of me. I am going for the gold. I'm telling you. There ain't nobody gonna stop me. All these guys. You can try. You can cry. You can complain. No, you will not end the C R E A M two. Chris, this is my Ryan. No, oh, somebody's getting close to the golden gun. Somebody's getting close. Oh, he's at the golden gun. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, this map, it is garbage. It sucks. Please, please, guys, please don't vote it. Please. Now, what a normal person will do is leave. But hey, I do not want to find another server right now. So I'm just going to stay here. This map is super slow. Just like my frame right before. But I updated my frames. Hopefully, Rolf can update this map and make it good. Oh, there's a little peanut head right sticking out. See a little hacker. Oh, there's some right here. An enemy trying to stop me. Oh, okay. The enemies will stop me. The acid thrower. Jabez Scrapers. The acid thrower is hot garbage. Oh, this thing is hot garbage, dude. All right, guys. Spawn right there. Do a little bit of spawn killing. All right. I'm joining them. I'm joining them. I can't find a lot of red people, but I'm in blue people. So I switched to the blue team. I am joining them. They can't stop me now. We're going to do this together. Boom, right in the head. Oh, a little spawn kill, I might add. Oh, another one, one, another one. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go, turn up, let's start. Zerak, you get spawn killed again. Oh, this map design is good. Look at this. Ooh, they find people super slow. And when we do find everyone, we spawn kill. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't that right, Slasher? Ain't that right, default skin? I, I know that's right, Pirate Down Girl. Oh, hey, Pumpkin Guy. I, I, I know, you know that's right. Kills her too, gang. Kill you. The hash slinging slasher. Thank you, AFK lady. Woo! Okay, this is something I just thought of. So a lot of people think that if you delete your textures, you'll have a ton of frames. No, you'll get like 0.1 extra frames. Deleting your textures, literally, it's not like an FPS booster. It doesn't do anything. I just delete my textures because I like the way Roblox looks better without them on. There's some people out there who actually think deleting your textures will give you more frames. No, it does not work like that. Sure, it'll, it'll give you like half a frame, but that's that's not noticeable. I've seen a video of someone trying to get better frames. They had all those settings on, they had shadows on, the viewport on, they had their graphics to max, but they deleted their frame, not their frames. La 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 la, I can't speak. They deleted their textures and they're like, wait, why don't I have extra frames? I was cringing so hard at that video. I'm like, lady, turn down your graphics, turn off viewport character. I'm like, girl, you're not gonna get a bonus 100 frames just from deleting your textures. You gotta lower your graphics, you gotta turn down all these settings, lady. 
But yeah, deleting your textures, no, that is not an FPS booster. If you try it and you're wondering why you don't get frames, uh, it's coming from here. It really doesn't do anything. Oh, cool, this guy's hacking. Oh, we found a hacker. Yay, 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 yay. This guy's a hacker. Oh, you're lagging. Die, die. Oh, zero two. Don't shoot at me. Don't shoot at me. Where's the hacker? What? Right, this game's getting pretty close. Where's the hacker? I don't know where the hacker is. I don't know if that was him. Okay, that was not him. Oh, I want to get the hot bomb beans guy. He's hacking. Zoo! I just left the hacker server. I joined the new server, and I will attempt to steal the win. So the people winning are on blue team, and as you see, I cannot join red team to kill them and make them slow down. So there is a high chance that I'm not going to be able to steal the win. I have to do mega sweat spawn kill simulator 360 ooga booga booga. Come here, boy. Oh, oh no, you fast ever? This is a fast ever! Alright, these guys are stealing the kills faster than I can get them. See, you just saw kill again! There's no way I'm gonna steal the kill. I need to be on red team, and red team has a stupid lock thing on it for some reason. I don't know why red team has the lock on it, but I need red team, and it has the lock on it. Yep, my time's up. There's no way stealing it. He's already at it. There's no way stealing it. Red still has the lock on it. Too late. Okay, there was a standard mode. Why do we have to do free for all concussion mania? What even? Why? Why? Whose stupid idea was it to vote this game mode? There was standard. What? A, there's nothing wrong with standard. Just vote it. You can tell by the leaderboard. There's only six people here, so apparently nobody else likes it either. But why would they vote for it? That doesn't make any sense. This is seriously one of the worst game modes. They should honestly buff the concussion rifle. I wouldn't mind if they made it do it 100 damage. Like, that would be pretty sick. It would make this game a lot more fun. You wouldn't have to shoot the same person like 10 times for anything to happen. You go in, get an easy kill, and then go out. My kill just got stolen. Go into a spawn right there. This guy don't know what's coming for him because he gets spawn killed. There's a purple team guy. <gasps> Yellow team, man. Oh, he thinks he can get us. Nope. Default skins are honestly adorable. Look at this guy. Look how, look how defaulty he is. He's so cute! Oh, this game mode, it is just so boring. Why would anyone vote this? And the one time it's free for all, it has to be spent into this game mode. Like, nobody wants to play this game mode on free for all. We want to play the normal game mode. This is what I'm talking about competitive, competitive, competitive. The best game mode in Arsenal public servers. Oh, why can't you just add competitive only servers? Like, I just love chilling here and sweating. The game would just be so much more fun. Like, I lose motivation a lot to play this game just because the other game modes but man it would be so much fun only having competitive servers I, I have a vip server and i have enough people to join it but oh the people who join it they are like 20 times better than me they're all sweaty they make me look bad at the game and man it, it's just something like i can't relax to like at least with these public servers i can sweat i can farm but I, mean, I can't really do that in my VIP server. But yeah, the just competitive only servers, that'd just be so much fun in the game. Anyone at Rove is watching this, could you like, maybe leave a comment down below if you guys are ever gonna do that or not, because I really want that badly. And, and a better thing with competitive only servers is that a lot of like new players or casual players, they complain about sweaty people. <gasps> competitive only servers, all the sweats will go there and we won't have to annoy any of the mobile users anymore. It, it's it's a win-win scenario like you know what i'm telling you oh man no leaderboard that was a fast game too come on bro i imagine in competitive only lobbies you know it's high rank it's skill based there's the headshots only game mode and then in the normal arsenal the garbage one which nobody wants to play uh it's like this we have standard mode we have horrible weapons we have afk people like that competitive only you know it's like a little mix between them the competitive game mode and it's just good. Hopefully someone at Rove could hear my TED talk and like add it. I think it would be a pretty good feature. I mean, a lot of the community has been asking it for so long now. Like ever since the game mode was announced, all we've been asking for is competitive only servers. Like that's the main thing us players want. We just want that comp only lobby. Whoa, he's like, I oh, not have a lag. Dude, I'm like getting crushed by this one purple Thanos dude. And oh man, oh man, oh man, he's cracked. Oh man, oh man, I'm cracked. Look at this guy, local snow dealer. This dude is Thanos. He keeps snapping me away to Brazil. I have been sent away, my comrades. Oh, that is a lot of people. And he kills me again. Dude, that Thanos guy that I'm talking about, that he's just a beast. That's probably him who was shooting at me right there. Uh, maybe that's him. Hold on. This may be the Thanos guy. Right here, right here. Boom. I, I need to find this guy. Local snow dealer. I need to backstab him. Here we go. Turn it up. Let's start. Oh, that wasn't him. No. 